Hello and welcome to Neutrino Channel. In this episode, we look at how resilient Iran's underground nuclear and missile facilities are, and answer the question of whether or not these deeply buried facilities can withstand a nuclear strike. To answer the effectiveness of nuclear weapons in destroying deeply buried facilities requires accurate calculations involving numerous parameters. For this reason, the calculations were performed using PCALC, a tool used by DTRA and the United States Strategic Command to calculate the probability of severe target damage from nuclear weapons. The results of the calculations are presented in graphs showing the probabilities of destruction for underground facilities with warheads of different yields and circular error probability, CP. Deep underground facilities and missile tunnels are typically between 100 and 400 meters deep, with most less than 250 meters deep. A few are as deep as 500 meters or even 700 meters in granite or limestone rocks. In this diagram, the results are based on the scenario that a free-falling nuclear bomb or a missile warhead does not penetrate the ground and simply explodes before hitting the ground by activating its fuse. In the following case, the resistance of the granite rock under which the facility is buried is assumed to be 1 kilobar or 100 megapascals, which is very significant in terms of strength and resistance. In the case of a nuclear attack, the factor that leads to severe destruction is the possibility of producing an extremely powerful shock wave. According to calculations, a nuclear warhead with an explosive force of 250 kilotons would destroy the Fordow plant at a depth of 90 meters with a probability of 96%, which is certainly breathtaking and absolutely alarming. As you can see in the diagram, besides the explosive power, the CP of the bomb is also very crucial for the probability of destruction. For example, if a 250 kiloton warhead with a CP greater than 100 meters is used, the probability of destruction for the facility at 90 meters drops to 41%, which is still remarkable. If a warhead with an explosive force of 1 megaton, 1,000 kilotons of TNT, is used with an accuracy of 10 meters, even structures down to a depth of 200 meters can be destroyed with a probability of 50% according to this diagram. So even without penetrating the hard rock and armed concrete, a nuclear strike with a strong and low CP warhead can cause severe and devastating damage to any underground or subterranean facility. But this is not the end of the story, because the following diagram shows an even more interesting result. The rock is the same as granite, and the resistance is the same as 1 kilobar. But the bomb or missile with the warhead penetrates only 3 meters into the ground which is absolutely within the reach of penetrators. With this relatively shallow penetration depth, a warhead with an explosive power of only 10 kilotons of TNT and a CP of more than 10 meters, the probability of destruction of Fordow's underground facilities at a depth of 90 meters is 94%. With a penetration depth of only 3 meters, the explosive power of the weapon can be reduced from 250 kilotons to only 10 kilotons, which is a great quantum leap in the efficiency of bomb use and is absolutely amazing and at the same time devastating for the recipient country. Again, the probability of destruction with a 10 kiloton warhead drops to 32% when the missile CP is 100 meters. At a penetration depth of 3 meters in granite, a 300 kiloton warhead with a CP of more than 10 meters has a 45% probability of destroying underground structures at a depth of even 400 meters. Therefore, if a nuclear attack on Iran's underground nuclear facilities is carried out with cruise missiles carrying nuclear warheads of tens or hundreds of kilotons, the Americans do not even have to penetrate Iranian skies to completely destroy these facilities. This is exactly the point where the Americans have complete superiority over Iran without having to risk anything or conduct a complex military operation. The consequences of a nuclear attack on Iran and its population and the subsequent deep psychological shock effects on those who survived will be absolutely devastating and will certainly lead to the collapse of the country. 
It must be mentioned that a free-falling bomb or missile warhead is definitely not able to penetrate so deep due to physical limitations that radiation and radioactive material remain underground and do not escape. By comparison, even a one-kiloton nuclear warhead, less than one-tenth as powerful as the Hiroshima bomb, must be buried at least 60 to 90 meters deep to contain its radioactive fallout. The high-yield nuclear earth penetrators will produce tremendous fallout that will drift for more than 1,000 kilometers downwind. The laws of physics will never allow a bomb to penetrate far enough to trap all fallout. This is a nuclear weapon that is going to be hugely destructive over a large area. Therefore, depending on the efficiency of nuclear weapons and atmospheric conditions, the radioactive materials can spread in significant parts of Iran and will surely involve millions of people. A simulation of nuclear earth penetrator used against the Esfahan nuclear facility in Iran, using the software developed for the Pentagon, showed that 3 million people would be killed by radiation within two weeks of the explosion. Therefore, a nuclear strike would be a catastrophe. If several warheads are used, it is a catastrophe of unimaginable dimensions. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.